Hey everyone, welcome to a new Grandmaster Combat Achievement Guide. Uh, this one is called No Pressure. It's for the Alchemical Hydra. So just reading on the Osiris Wiki the description here, No Pressure is a Grandmaster Combat Achievement which requires a player to kill the Alchemical Hydra using only Darek's Great Axe as a weapon, whilst having no more than 10 hit points through the entire fight. So it's important to remember that with the Darek's Great Axe, you can also have the armor with that for the set, the whole set to give it a bit of a boost. So not just the Darek's Great Axe, it's actually the whole Darek's set you can have, but you have to have the Darek's Great Axe during the entire fight. So reading the strategy here, enter the Alchemical Hydra's Chamber, praying either protect from missiles or protect from magic. As the first attack cannot be predicted, there are two options. One, if it, attacks, if it attacks with the opposite style, teleport out immediately and try again. Two, tick eat that attack with the low healing food such as purple sweets, which are also useful if you lose track of which attack is coming next. There is a third option which we're using, which is wearing a high range bonus, a high range defense bonus set when we first go in and praying mage uh, every time and it shouldn't hit too hard on us so that's what we're going to be using for this guide and it's worked well so i'm just going to read um only the next uh paragraph and then sentence and leave the lightning one because we do do a bit of a scuffed one with the lightning but i'll just read here uh, the next part so for the rest of the fight which is the same as a normal melee fight see alchemical hydra strategies which will have the other melee um, guides in there. Due to the low damage per second afforded by Derek's equipment, it is likely that the player will face multiple special attacks per phase. This occurs after the ninth regu regular attack following the first special attack. Make sure to start moving in advance of the second poison blob attacks during the first and fourth phases. So yeah, the green phase and the uh, sort of grey phase. To always avoid the shotgun poison blot after the third to ninth attack, run under and through the Hydra. So that's using the melee strategy. And just reading the last part, skipping the lightning phase, um, Threls can be used to complete this task, so that's awesome. So we will be using that as well. So let's so get straight into the gear and also the inventory setup we have for this completing this combat achievement. So I am wearing the full Justice Shears set uh, for the set bonus. We have the Fire Cape, uh, Amulet of Torture, Rada's Blessing for the Teleport and Prayer Bonus, Darek's Axe obviously, uh, Ferocious Gloves, Guardian Boots and Ring of Suffering Eye. I'll just show you why, because that brings up our range defense bonus to 365 compared to, we just went in with Darok's which would be 285. And that's so we can pray um, Mage every time going in and it, the range attack um, should not if it hit you as much you can, can also use um, the Elysian Spirit Shield Barra's Gloves Fury a better cape um, so things like that just to um, bring it up a little bit the range defense bonus over this level um, so that's definitely possible but what we have in the inventory is obviously our Darak set with the Berserker Ring Eye Primordial Boots the Dwarven Rock Cake which we guzzle just to get the health down uh, purple sweets, divine super combat potion, antidote, uh, four prayer potions. We also have the emergency teleport tabs, uh, book of the dead, and the runes to resurrect greater thrills. So um, that's pretty much it for this. So let's head there now to show you how to get there. So teleport to Mount Karelm using Urata's blessing. You can also use um, think down. Here there's a fairy ring for CIR if you don't have the Rider's Blessing. So once you get there up the top, activate the elevator. Now remember we are going to keep the Justice Shear armor on too. Um, so you know it doesn't hit us much going in because we're going to protect from magic. Uh, so this is the way I do it and it's much easier. And it's a less game of chance because it's actually using numbers to provide more range bonus with its range attack. So go through this pipe, I think it's 88 agility required, or you can head this way where the hydras are and then head east. Once you get here, go north and climb over these rocks and you'll pretty much be out the front of the alchemical hydra lair. 
just two other things I quickly want to go over because I know this will be important for players. So if you don't use the just a sheer method and you just um, go off the teleport, sometimes if you have lag or you just don't get it in time, you may die. That's no trouble though because you can just come to this guy here called Orvorkua Maten. And if you collect, um, it'll say you have stuff to collect from him in your game chat. Just go here to collect and it will um, provide a, like a little lock on there. And you just tap that and it'll say it will take 100k from your bank um, to get your items back, which you do. So yeah, that's what just where you go to if you need to do that. Yeah, just brushing over the toll markers, um, I didn't use this particular um, service with the rune markers, but... Uh, just going into it, it says make sure the ground markers plugin is enabled on RuneLock with remember color per tile enabled. Copy the tile markers to your clipboard. Right click the world map button in game and select import. So once you've done that, you copy this one here, the alchemical hydra. Um, and then you um, basically, I'll just show you how it works with in game. All right, so once you copied that, you just want to go into your RuneLight here. Um, just to make sure ground markers. So it should be enabled. It should have remember color per tile um, and show this as well. So if we then go to the right click on the world map and go import ground markers, so seven, you go yes. And just see how it shows up and propagates here. So you actually have a lot more, which is helpful. I did these manually, but um, just these ones, but you're welcome to use the tile markers just for this to make it a bit easier for you if you don't already have that. Before you enter, make sure you're below 10 HP, wearing full Justice Sheer Armor, have sipped your Divine Super Combat Potion, Antidote is sipped, and get to the perfect medium, seven HP is good. Make sure quick prayers protect from magic, and then switch here to range if it attacks with range. We didn't take any damage because of our range defense, which is excellent. Applying the three attacks switch with the head movement there, so now it's on mage. Run forward. We took damage there, which we should have been avoided, but as long as you um, don't take, uh, as long as you got the antidote, it won't hit any further. So there you go. Switch back to range, and it'll be the three range attacks. So it's pretty much just a whole entire fight. And every ninth attack after the poison blob will come out with shotgun run through the hydra, you'll see very shortly. So you see here I run through <clears throat> past the hydra and totally avoid the poison blob attack. And I'm positioning it over the other side now so hopefully it can run uh, north through on that next chemical pool when it sh uh, shifts its phase to the blue phase, lightning phase. There we go. So it's lost its head. So <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see I'm luring it north now. Now it was a bit scuffed this phase as you can see uh, because I didn't get it into position how I wanted to so you got to avoid this lightning as you will know um, by doing Hydra um, I imagine if you're doing this combat achievement you've done Hydra a, a fair bit but maybe you've never done Mali so I'm hoping this will at least uh, give a guide onto that. Make sure at this stage that your HP is still under 10 HP you will find you will have to use the rock cake every now and then. And make sure your throw's out. I didn't um, have it out, you probably noticed in the video, but uh, that will help a great deal just with the DPS uh, per the fight. With its phases. So I'm running it around with the lightning here, trying to bring it back up to this blue pool because I know that will be the next, uh, will be the flame phase next. So as usual, just making sure the HP is below 10, your prayer po uh, prayer is okay, and keeping track of its head switches with what the current attacks on with praying against it. Another lightning here, another lightning special attack, so you need to go to the walls and just dodge the lightning. 
You can use the tile trick, um, but I'm not cornering these just because it's a bit hectic with the Darrocks. Now it's gone to the flame phase, so where these markers are, you want to run over, to, uh, I've got no run at the moment, but walk over to this marker just to lure it a bit onto there. That's good. So you'll see the chemicals will neutralize the old chemical hydro defenses. Then go on this tile when it starts walking to the center. And then I'm walking here, but you can just either run or walk this. So I'm walking exactly, walk exactly what I'm doing here. So you'll have a free path to attack the Hydra. You may have to go through two, uh, two phases of this fire walk, depending on how much DPS output you can um, do on the Hydra. So get the throwback out, make sure you're under 10 HP, sip of the prayer potion, keep track of the attacks you're up to. Yep, flip back to range and it should be doing its uh, special attack again very shortly. Here we go, you can see it's centered. Now the pathing was off here, so I'm gonna give a bit of advice here. So see how it's closed it off? I recommend do not panic in this scenario. So all you'll have to do, you won't be able to get to the high drop, but you just have to wait it out until the fire subsides and it will subside in the center there. So just make sure you just do the correct uh, uh, you know prayer uh, protection prayers in the meantime preserve prayer you can take off uh, piety so there we go see it's opened it up now we can attack the flame hydra again now it's gone into the gray uh, last phase jad phase so we're protecting whatever the opposite was starting so just make sure range mage flicking through there about to run here shotgun run through the middle dodge in dodge it entirely and continue onwards and you should be able to finish it off here pretty easily without it not getting to its next attack there you go no pressure completed congratulations everyone hey guys i just wanted to say before you go um if you are having trouble with this one there is a little tip i have because you will lose your rider's blessings to speak to a lease at the karen castle so the world map that's where it's located you can teleport there um, directly and you can just say can I have another Rada's Blessing and she will give you another Rada's Blessing so you can get as many as you want um, just a short quick little tip because you might um, find if you are failing and it's really annoying having to get that back each time that just helps speed it up so just a little tip before I go thanks everyone for watching please subscribe uh, like and comment the video and I'll see you all next time see ya